Colin, this is like a it's like a 75 minute history lesson. Did that feel like a natural fit for Broadway? Um, <laughs> a natural fit for Broadway? I don't know. We just, you know, we're comedians, so whenever I go to a show, I'm always like, oh man, I wish there was no intermission. I could get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> we wanted to sell the idea of we're gonna get you out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Did you always want to direct? No, I didn't. I didn't particularly want to direct. <laughs> <laughs> I asked him to direct. We thought, if I don't direct, we're going to have to meet a third person. We're a little ornery when it comes to <laughs> other people coming in. I noticed I'm at a distance here. Like <laughs> <laughs> you had a great run off Broadway. Why'd you want to come to Broadway? I don't know, just because it just seemed like it went that way. We weren't really planning to do this on Broadway, you know? Uh -huh. Were you but in a big theater off Broadway or? No, no, glamorous no 45 theater? Bleaker. 45 Bleaker. Very glamorous, yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> we got kicked out because they were doing Deep Throat. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, they're in deep throat. Has the show changed coming to Broadway? Yeah. yeah. We have a whole new set and a whole new, we have, we're just rewriting stuff as we were talking about backstage. Right. And, and we, we got this jacket. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it's true. What's he like as a director? He's great. I mean, he really gets into it. I thought, I thought he would just be like a figurehead, uh -huh. you know? But then he actually gets out there and has all these great, like, stage moves and stuff. Just gets up like a real director and it's like, hey, man, you're gonna try this. <laughs> Starts walking around, I'm like, that's really funny, you know? Uh -huh. Like, all this <laughs> interesting stuff. How'd you know how to do that? I did a sitcom in the 90s. And, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there were a couple of themes that we uh, tried to bring out in the show. What was that theme where you were talking about, about people dressing a certain way, whatever their best year was. Right, I do this bit in my act that all men dress in the style of the last good year of their lives. <laughs> <laughs> and countries do that too. Do you have any superstitions about, you know, a lot of people on Broadway have superstitions before going into a play or something. Is there anything you do? Or... Me? Yeah. No. I'm, you know, I'm not Elaine Stritch. I'm just starting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be doing this a few times now. I mean, I started doing this in clubs, you know. And then, I mean, they get it, they'll stay with, they'll stay with you for about 30 minutes and they're like, all right, come on. Can somebody talk about the lower half of the body, please, and hurry? <laughs> <laughs> Any questions right now? The first Broadway show you ever saw, I think I, my parents probably slept me to Fiddler on the Roof. Uh -huh. But uh, that really is not related to this at all. <laughs> How about the fact that his parents slept him? <laughs> <laughs> you got an understudy? Uh, mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only night they'll be happy the understudy goes on. <laughs> a question from the live chat on the web stream. Whoa, you're freaking me out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you mentioned the Galactic Empire at all. You're asking the wrong guy about the Galactic Empire. I don't know anything about it. What's the Galactic Empire? Star Wars. Star Wars. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> How could that have come through the internet? <laughs> I just feel like it's just the nature of man. You know, like this show is sort of about just how human nature just steps in every time and ruins everything. <laughs>